Hey, I'm Mark Johnson, and today we're making the Hidden Blade from Assassin's Creed. So to make the knife mechanism move back and forth, I got these drawer slides. This one's a little too big for what we're working with, so we gotta grind off some of the excess. That'll stop it. To make the blade, we're gonna use this cheap plastic sword. I'm gonna cut a line down the middle, shave some parts off, paint it up, make it look real nice. So we just finished cutting a line through the middle of our blade, now we're gonna clean it up with the orbital sander. Now it's time to attach it to the slider, and we're gonna do so using a two-part epoxy. So now we got the blades done, it's time to use this foam to add some accents and then spray the whole thing silver. So we're gonna make our gauntlet out of leather. We have some fake leather right here, but before we do that, I'm gonna cut my template pieces out of this poster board. I leave a little extra leather hanging off the side so I can tuck it and glue it under. Now that we have all our pieces covered with our leather, it's time to put it all together. So now it's time to add the small accents, which we're going to do with this blue and red foam. So there's four straps, two on each side. We're going to use dog leashes for those. Line the inside of the gauntlet with foam so that it's more comfortable. So for the final details on the gauntlet, we're going to use these rivets. I brought this old base neck I had laying around because we need something underneath the gauntlet when we use a hammer. They had these gold round detail pieces on the bottom so I made a makeshift foam stamp. And then I used gold spray paint.
Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more episodes, and we'll see you next time.